Good morning. It's Saturday, and for Saturday we're going to read the first 11 verses of Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not let your face, do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day that I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like the grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I'm like a desert owl of the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am lonely sparrow on the housetop. All the day my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. So this is the first half of a psalm. The second half goes on to praise God in the usual sort of ways and, and talk about how good God is and ask God to hear his prayer. It seems to me that this that we just read, though, these 11 verses are a pretty good description of somebody who is very depressed. Um, and, and so, you know, his... his, his uh, his heart has been thrown down and withered. He's, he's, he's like the sparrow on a rooftop alone. Now, if you ever look at birds, some birds are in groups and, you know, messing around with each other, but then there are these birds that are just alone. And you wonder, are they always alone? Do they, do they live alone? Do they function alone? Do they have bird friends? I mean, I don't know enough about birds to know, but I just know that you see birds alone a lot. And here uh, the psalmist picks up on that and says, well, I'm like a bird alone on a rooftop. Um, somebody who is depressed is very alone most of the time. Even if there are other people around, they just feel feel alone, feel um, neglected. They feel like they they don't have anybody to connect with. Even if they do, and you'd objectively say, well, of course you do. You've got your, you know, your, your family and your friends and your coworkers, and they all are, are interested in what you're doing. But to the person who's depressed, it does not feel like any of that's true. And so, um, you know, the Psalms are not simply just poems from long ago that don't really speak to us because... We don't live in the Iron Age, and we don't have uh, the sorts of things that they had and the, the lifestyle that they had. We don't live in castles. We don't have, um, uh, you know, we're not all carrying swords and, and shields and stuff, and so we're, we're just very different from them. But the experience of being human is pretty much the same for them as it is for us. And so they are able to write these poems that, that actually do describe for us what it, what it means to be human. So think about that today. Think about what it means to be a, a human being and, and how humanity doesn't change that much despite our, our outward physical circumstances. Um, my circumstances, your circumstances are not are, are, are we're not different that different from each other, but we're terribly different from, say, um, uh, you know, Palestinian resident of Gaza. Um, they might l live in a house or or um, approximate the sort of life that we have, but it's not really the same. Um, or somebody who lives in in Southeast Asia or Africa, somewhere very tribal sort of existence, is very very different 
life than we live. And yet, the experience of being a human being is not that different. They would be happy. They would be depressed. They would be joyful. They would sing. Um, all of the things that we do, they would do. And so uh, the psalmist can, can tap into that. And, and so as you read the psalms, someone said once there's a psalm for every emotional state of being that you can that you can figure out if you feel it it's in there somewhere and i've had people say to me wow yeah the psalms are like it's like a handbook of of um of mental states mental health it's not that well organized or labeled but it's also it's all in there so take a look at the rest of this psalm too and see how it how it goes from that depression to to um praising God, and I think maybe you'll see a clue as to how we get out of depression. One way is through thanksgiving and praise. Well, I hope that you have a great Saturday, and we will see you on Monday.